Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to extend the duration of videos and animations generated by the Pika Labs AI. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. Please take a look at the animated videos that I generated using the famous artificial intelligence, Pika Labs, first. As you know, most popular and active AI systems currently, such as Pika Labs, Genmo, Moon Valley, and others, generate videos and animations of 4, 6, or 8 seconds in length. While they have many advantages, unfortunately the duration of generated videos and animations is usually short, which is a big problem. This is completely true. And we know that most AI websites are still in the research and development phase. But in general, this duration limitation can be frustrating for content creators at times. For example, you may want to create a longer advertising video or even need video and animation plans with a longer duration for storytelling. Currently, there is no standard tool provided by AI websites to solve this. Of course, these limitations will be removed with the advancement of technology and the growth of AI in the near future. But what can we do now? What is the solution for having videos longer than 4, 6, or 8 seconds? In this tutorial, I will show you one of the secrets and methods to access longer videos and animations with today's popular AI systems. I will teach you a special and intelligent technique that you can use to bypass the limitations and easily generate longer videos and animations. Stay with me until the end of the Extend AI Generated Video and Animation Duration Tutorial. This solution will take your video productions to the next level. Alright, let's move on to Pika. But one important note, if you're new to Pika Labs and haven't experienced creating animations and videos with this artificial intelligence yet, don't worry at all. I've previously created a step-by-step -step tutorial for making videos and animations with Pika Labs on my YouTube channel, Iman Global. I'll put the link to this tutorial in the description. First, go and watch that tutorial, and then consider this tutorial as a complimentary resource. First, we visit the Pika Labs website and then connect to their Discord server to be able to generate videos and animations. We enter one of the Pika Discord rooms. In the text box, I execute the command slash create and configure the camera parameters, FPS, aspect ratio and motion in the prompt section. Clicking outside the prompt section, I now execute the image command from the drop-down list. I upload the image based on which I want the video to be generated. Our command goes into the queue, and after a short while, the video is generated. We can play the video and download it using the download button in the top right corner of the video frame. If we are not satisfied with this video, we can instruct the Pika bot to create different variations using the button below the video frame. All our commands go into the queue, and after a short period, our videos are generated. After that, we can review and download the new videos. I downloaded one of them and now I have it on my hard drive. The videos that are currently generated by Pika have a duration of 3 seconds. After downloading the video, to increase the duration, we now need video editing software. It does not matter which video editing software you use, whether it is Final Cut Pro, Edius, DaVinci, CapCut or even Canva's online platform. The process is the same in all. The important point here is that we should be able to take the last frame of the video as an output image. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I launch the software, click on the new project button in the start section. Now I enter a name for the new project. Then I specify the project save location. To create the project, I click on the create button. After the new project is created, I right click in the project window, select the import option, and bring video 1 into the Adobe Premiere Pro project window. Now, from the file menu, I click on New Sequence and choose a full HD sequence from the presets. I come up with a name for this sequence. After the sequence is created, I drag and drop video 1 onto the timeline. Since the dimensions of the clip do not match the sequence, I encounter the Clip Mismatch Warning window. I click the Keep Existing Setting button. I reduce the timeline zoom. Right-clicking on video 1, I choose the Scale to Frame Size option for it to match the sequence. Using the next and previous frame buttons in Premiere Pro, I navigate to the last frame of video 1. I increase the timeline zoom. Now I want to create an image from the last frame of this video using the export frame button. Clicking on the export frame button, in the new window, I enter a name for the image, set the image format to JPEG. 
With the Browse option, I specify the image's save location. Now, we have an image of the last frame of video 1 on the hard drive. Next, I upload this image to the Pika server on Discord and generate video 2 based on this image. Now we return to the Discord server Pika. Enter one of the Discord Pika rooms. In the text box, I execute the command slash create and set the camera parameters, FPS, aspect ratio and motion in the prompt section. By clicking outside the prompt section, I now execute the image command from the drop-down list. I upload the output image from Adobe Premiere Pro, and video 2 will be generated based on it. Now I click the enter button. Our command goes into the queue, and after a short while, the video is generated. We can play the video. Using the download button on the top right of the video frame, we download it. This is video 2. Now we have two videos on the hard drive. With a drag and drop, I bring video 2 into Premiere Pro. I go to Adobe Premiere Pro. Drag and drop video 2 onto the timeline after video 1. I right click on video 2, choose scale to frame size to match the sequence. Ensuring that video 1 and 2 are now seamlessly aligned, increasing the length of the videos through this technique. You can repeat the same process multiple times to bypass the 3 second limitations of Pika videos and animations, creating much longer videos and animations for a single plan. After completing the editing in Adobe Premiere Pro, you can export the timeline. To do this, click on the export option. In the new window, enter a name for the output file in the name section. Choose the storage location in the location section. Set the preset to high quality full HD and make sure the format is set to H.264. Now, click on export, and after a short period, your output file will be rendered and ready. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you learned something new, please feel free to support the channel through the super thanks button below the video. Be sure to like, share and comment as well to show your love. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next tutorial. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.